Hi, this is CJ with CompRCC.com, and in this series of videos, I'm going to be assembling the 3 Racing Sakura Ultimate Touring Car. And we're back with bag number 5. And according to the uh, instruction sheet here, we are going to be putting the caps on these bulkheads and uh, mounting up our the uh, carbon fiber shock towers. Um, as you can see, bag number four is still open and in play. There's a couple of trees in there where we uh, cut off the two little plastic pieces to mount the uh, spur assembly with the, uh, the two drive pulleys on either side of it. And there's our top plate. Our shock towers and our bulkhead caps. Here is all the hardware. They want us to put the ball studs on first. So let's see which hole do they want. Okay. This that's front and one, two, three, four, five, and they want it in the middle hole. And these are going to be button screws and two ball sockets. And that probably could use Loctite. Again, I do not know why I keep putting the cap back on the Loctite, because this whole kit, almost every other bolt, you definitely want to put a little Loctite on here. So I'm going to need the 2.5 on one end of the ball stud and 2 millimeter on the screw. And the bolts go in from the back side from the countersinks. Since these ball studs are not, um, not really ball studs because they, uh, they don't have the stud part coming off them. They're more like ball bolts, but they don't have a hex fitting, you know, for a, for a wrench, you have to use an Allen wrench to tighten them up. So if you do not have the a one and a half, a two, and a two and a half, get them. You do not want to attempt to build this without all of the above. And uh, as we've seen before, also a 5.5 millimeter socket driver. And just as uh, we had with the bulkheads, front is rear, rear fits front. So if for some reason you damage any of these, you can swap them out. That's an interesting little item there, not your standard washer. It's not completely round. It's kind of shaped like an eye or a football or a profile. And there's two little pins, and if you can see, there are a small ring of holes here, one, two, three, four. So this spacer can be placed incrementally left to right. And that actually is, that's a great idea. That makes for a very granular adjustment. And uh, let's see where they're, do they recommend a starting location for those holes? Yes, right here in the diagram, two of the holes are darkened out, the uh, second from the uh, innermost is where they recommend placing this for the, the initial setup. It's, uh, it's a good system from a 
this can be made very granular, but it is going to be tough to get these things moved in and out just the way you need them. These ball studs, they do not have a hex fitting, but they are set up for a wrench. Unfortunately, this nut driver here, this is a, one would think is a nice high-end nut driver, certainly looks like it, but it's got a bit of a, I don't know, a camphored edge here, so the, the bolt but it doesn't start to grip until it gets in there a little bit. So for something that's this small, that's really not going to work. Let me see if that's not okay. I was hoping that the, that the five millimeter would fit that, but it does not. So this must be something like, yes, it's, well, of course it wouldn't. It's a 5.5. Perfect. Don't have one. So I may have to resort to the old needle nose. That's something to, uh, to get. And that's one. There we go. One assembly done. Let's move on to the next one. I go ahead and start with these since I've already got the pieces laid out. And there we have the rear shock tower built up. Okay, now it's time to mount the shock towers and the upper deck and the, uh, the belt guide. Which is a very nice thing that they added. A lot of cars, that's an optional item. Goes uh, right underneath the, the belt here, or above the belt, and it helps keep the belt from skipping. Time to assemble the belt tensioner. And then, pretty much the rest of these button screws are going to be used to hold the top deck down. Four for the front, one for the tensioner, two, three.
four, five, six for the rest of the top deck. It goes in the middle hole. Okay, now that they are all in place, tighten them down. <laughs> 